Hello, everybody. How are you today? I hope you are all well and happy and ready to continue learning about animals. Okay, can you see this thing here? This part of the body? This is there. What is it? Excellent, it's a backbone. Can you touch your backbones, please? Can you please touch your backbones? Fantastic. Um, can you remember the difference between vertebrate animals and invertebrate animals? Okay, vertebrate animals have got backbone or vertebrate animals haven't got a backbone? What do you think? Vertebrates have got a backbone or vertebrates haven't got a backbone? Excellent! You are right! Vertebrates have got a backbone. This is completely false. Incorrect. Bad. Okay? Well done, children. Um, now we're going to see the difference between the types of vertebrates that we have. We have got mammals. Can you repeat? Mammals. Very good. Can you say birds? Excellent. Can you say reptiles? Wow, your pronunciation is fantastic. Amphibians. Can you repeat? Very good. And finally, fish. Good job. Fantastic. So we have mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians and fish. Uh, the mammals here have got fair. This is the fair. Can you see? The fair is like the hair. So mammals have got fair. And we write it like this. Fair. Okay. Mammals also drink milk from their mummies when they are babies. Can you see? Mammals drink milk from their mummies when they are babies. And mammals are not born from eggs. No, no, no. Mammals are born from the mummy's tummy. Can you see? The babies are here in their tummies. And they are born from there. Very good. These are the characteristics of mammals. So look at this. We have here five animals. We have animal number one, animal number two, animal number three, animal number four, sorry, animal number four, and animal number five. The lion, the parrot, the snake, the frog, and the clownfish. Which one is a mammal? Which one is a mammal? Is number one a mammal? Is number two a mammal? Is number three a mammal? Is number four a mammal? Or is number five a mammal? Which one is a mammal? Number one. Amazing! Well done! 
you are excellent because a mammal has got fair let's see and mammals have got fair animals are mammals are born from the mummy's tummies and mammals drink milk when they are babies and a lion is a mammal well done okay let's see now which one is a bird okay which one is a bird and the characteristics of birds here the birds are this they have got feathers okay they don't have fair no no birds have got feathers can you repeat feathers excellent pronunciation feathers well done and do you think that birds are born from their mummy's tummies and drink milk? No. Birds are born from eggs. Everybody, eggs. Good job. Now let's see which one is a bird. Which one is a bird? Which one has got feathers? And which one is born from X? Is number one a bird? No, it's a mammal. Is animal number two a bird? Is animal number three a bird? Is animal number four a bird? Or is animal number five a bird? You are right, it's animal number two. This parrot is a bird. Well done! You're incredible. Now let's see the characteristics of reptiles. Reptiles. Reptiles don't have fair. No, no, no. Reptiles don't have feathers. No, no. Reptiles have got scales. Can you see the scales here? Can you repeat the word scales? Scales! Amazing! So we write scales like this. Scales. Well done! So mammals have got fair, birds have got feathers, reptiles have got scales. Wow, you're amazing! Now, here reptiles, you will see that they are born from eggs. This egg is different from chicken eggs or bird eggs okay these eggs are different not the same All right so mammals moment mammals are born from the mummy's tummies birds are born from eggs and reptiles are born from X too. Very good. Can you see? Can you say X? Can you repeat X? Wow! Your pronunciation is even better than before. Now we're going to study. Sorry, we're going to see which one is a reptile. So do you think that 
Do you think that the lion is a reptile? No, it's a mammal. Do you think that a fish is a reptile? No. Do you think that a bird is a reptile? No, this bird is obviously a bird. It's a parrot bird. Do you think that a frog is a reptile? No, it hasn't got scales. And do you think that this snake is a reptile? Yes or no? Yes, you are very clever. Excellent, keys your brains. So, these reptiles, the snakes, have got scales and they are born from eggs. Excellent. Let's see more. Let's learn about amphibians. Amphibians haven't got fur. No, no. Amphibians haven't got feathers. No, no. Amphibians haven't got scales. No, no. Amphibians have nothing. No scales, no fur, no feathers. They have just basking, nothing. Okay. And they are, are they born from the mummy stomachs? No. Are they born from eggs? Yes. But the eggs, the eggs are different. Can you see the eggs over here? These eggs are transparent. These eggs are very soft. And they are different from birds' eggs and reptiles' eggs. These are amphibian eggs. Okay, so let's see which animal is an amphibian. Is this one, is the clownfish an amphibian? No, they have got scales and amphibians have nothing. Is this lion an amphibian? No, this lion is a mammal. Is this bird an amphibian? No, this parrot bird is a bird. So they have feathers and amphibians have nothing. Is this reptile an amphibian? No, this snake is not an amphibian. It's a reptile. I said it before. They have scales. And is this frog an amphibian? Yes, as you can see here, they have got no scales, nothing, so they are amphibians. Fantastic, and they are also born from eggs. Let's see the last type of vertebrate. They're fish. Whoops, sorry. The fish. Can you see this fish here? Do you think it has got fur? No. Has a fish got feathers? No, that would be crazy. Has it got scales? Yes! Fish and reptiles have got scales. Wow! They are very similar. So, fish and reptiles have got scales. Okay? And are fish born from the mummy stomachs? No, not at all. Are fish born from eggs, like chicken or birds? Yes, but look, 
the eggs of fish are very, very different. What color is the fish egg? The orange. This type of fish eggs are oranges. Are orange, sorry. They're like small oranges. And you you can see that this fish eggs are different from the bird eggs. They are different from reptile eggs and they are different from amphibian eggs. All right. Oops, look at this. A happy face. So, let's see which animal is a fish. Can you say is animal number one, two, three, four, or five? Well done! Animal number five is a fish. It's a clownfish like Nemo. They have got scales and they are born from eggs. Well done! And do you know what you have to do now? You have to make a vertebrate lab book. Okay? You have to make a lab book like this. You have two days to make a lab book. Day number one which is today, and day number two, which is going to be next day. Can you see here? You, ha you, can, put, you can make a very creative lab book using color papers, using pictures of fish, of mammals, of amphibians, reptiles and birds. You can write their names and you can use flaps like this with some characteristics. Here you have the characteristics. Okay. Also you have this example. This is very original and creative, isn't it? You have here the vertebrates. And you can see here the amphibians with the characteristics. Here you can see birds with some characteristics. You can see some mammals with the characteristics. Reptiles and you can see more animals like fish and the characteristics. Try to be creative, okay? I know you will very original and creative. And if you don't have a lot of materials, if you don't have a lot of time, here you have another example of a flap of a lab book. Here you can write the five types of vertebrate. Simple flaps. And here you can see the scales of fish. You can see some characteristics of the amphibians down here, some characteristics of birds down here, reptiles and mammals. Try to be original, try to be creative and try to have fun, okay? Are you ready to make a flap book like this? Yes or no? Alright, bye bye crocodile!